So I just had to open the door. And the actual door is stuck now. That broke so close to the bottom. Fell over this way enough. That it's not shutting anymore, or it's not opening anymore. So, I guess so much for that, huh? And uh, I'm not able to get those closed. So, no, all of that is ethical, it's moral, it's legal, of course. Don't ask any questions. You see, the majority can never be in the wrong. Especially not, you know, not these people, no. So, like, it, uh, I was able to get on recording there. Um, I went over there and uh, I asked them if they saw anything, and of course, you know, would a coward admit? I mean, how many does it take up against one guy with one leg? So, look at that. Doesn't shut. So, now I don't know uh, if I need to get wire, or I don't recall having any chains for this sort of thing. Uh, there might be a little bit of chain, I'm not sure. This wasn't done without some way, shape, or form having my family, my parents, uh, go ahead. Written, verbal, between the lines. Uh, considering they made these gates, or paid for them, contracted, contracted them. Look at that, push this over. Which just goes to show, you know, how how cowardly they fucking are. They need to get my parents' permission to pick on me. And, um, and the pettiness of ego that nobody can be open and clear about it. And they need to... Uh, one thing I, uh, I've been thinking about uh, recently, I mean, I, I've known it, but recently it's come up a lot more. Um, when... I don't know if you've played that card game Bullshit. Um, when somebody's cheating in a game, you need other people to play by the rules. There needs to be rules. Your cheating can't be the rules. Otherwise, there's nothing to cash in on when you cheat. Uh, people who cheat on their partners typically don't want their partners to cheat, to cheat on them, and they typically aren't the people to begin or get into open, transparent, poly polyamorous relationships. They like sneaking around, they like cheating, they like being sneaky and deceptive cowardly. He gets them off. If 
everybody stole pies from windows and nobody made the pies, there'd be no pies left to steal. If everybody stole their food, instead of growing the food, nobody would be around left to grow the food. If these pieces of shit had a taste of their own fucking medicine, they'd want to change it so that nobody would be able to do those things to them. Which is why they hide behind others, weapons, So I tried to bang, I don't know if you noticed the paint's chipped on that right there, a little bit right there, and a little mashed up right there. Um, try to use the hammer and that pole driver thing to uh, straighten it out, and uh, you know, maybe I shouldn't be straightening it out because apparently that thing fell in a little bit, so now that doesn't line up with that right there, that hole right, right there. Who's the brave? Yeah, I know. So it's not lining up there, that thing is bent too, I don't know if you could tell, the white dust right there from the concrete. Um, yeah, I know uh, my parents wouldn't throw money away like this uh, if they didn't in some way, shape, or form basically ask for it while I'm here. It didn't happen the whole time that I wasn't here last year. It happened right now, right here. They don't do it to anybody of them. All right, so a little while ago, I uh, I called out. I was like, oh, nobody saw it. And uh, across the street right there where I was just standing, but while I'm over here, not while I'm over there, they start taunting at me. Uh, it was like at least one of them, but there was a group of them standing out there, including their kids. So, you know, if I go over there, I start swinging. Oh, no, it's not going to be one-on-one. -on -one. I'm already short leg. A brave man and wham out. <sighs> so now I don't know how I'm gonna get this fucking thing shut. Um, I really don't know. Uh, it doesn't have. Really shouldn't be wasting my time on this, but you know they're allowed. I, I don't see the cops pulling up, going hit and run on our property. Nope. Poop poop. No, huh? No neighbors going. It was him. It was him. I saw him. No, huh? They can count the follicles they have memorized that grow on my fucking testicles. But they can't name or point out who tried to go poking them. My testicles. Bees nuts. They know. Every single follicle nicknamed. Memorized like freckles on my balls. But ain't nobody said nothing.
But anyway, I did kick the door back out. So at least it gets this far right here. That's about as as good at that as I closes. That little thing. You see how it's tighter near the bottom? And then this it's just not gonna go through there. I mean, I don't know how you'd find fucking cowards. Cowardice. How to be a coward? What I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I'd like to hear what you have to say. I think that qualifies. Screech, peel out. Auto fucks, roll out. Mission accomplished. You done gone fucked up my front fucking gate. Cut and run. You know, typically the hit and run tactic is done against a greater force. You know, a greater military force. Someone who you are opposing who has greater strength in weaponry or numbers, troops, or equipment. This hit and run, I'm one fucking guy. One fucking guy. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. They ran away. Oh no! Yeah. Ding dong ditch. Dingaling ditch. Dingalong. Be a little bitch. Ding, ding, ding. Run away! Nobody snitch. Hi, hi, hi! No. I'm gonna go back to my party. This is so comfortable. 